All right, everyone, Trump is now weighing in a little bit more on the uh, Cohen fiasco. Of course, he gave testimony several days ago, and it, it completely falls flat. I mean, the thing, he can't corroborate anything that he's saying during the testimony. He's asked by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, probably the most anti-Trump person on the committee that he could be talking to. Softball him, think that Cohen's great because, oh my God, my evil Trump and stuff. She says, well, how can you corroborate what you're saying? He says, well, I don't know. He points out, well, Trump was colluding with the Russians. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, he didn't expect to win, which is doesn't make sense. He comes out and says weird shit like, yes, Trump is indeed perverted and racist and I was misled and stuff. But I can't corroborate anything that I'm saying. So Trump has come out now and said, well, Cohen's got this tell-all book that he's uh, designing. I don't think it's, like, out yet. I think this is something actively being planned. He's like, uh, subpoena the manuscript. You should read it. So he's challenging these people in Congress to make themselves aware of what Cohen really believes. And, and you watch. The Democrats will probably balk at it. Here's the thing. It would be very strange if Trump were uh, guilty of any wrongdoing. It would be very odd for someone like Trump to come out and say, well, I, I want you to have the manuscript that actually corroborates everything that he said in committee. What he's doing is he's saying, well, Cohen lied about this and that and the other thing. I bet his story in the tell-all book is vastly different than what he told Congress. And remember, Cohen has already lied to Congress provably before. He's going to prison for the fact that he lied to Congress under oath. And he's lying this time, too. Most of what he said is probably untrue. I, I'm still, there's still a part of me that thinks that maybe Trump paid him huge amounts of money to lie and say weird shit just as a distraction, knowing that it would f fuck around with the Mueller probe. I mean, if this is the best that you have, uh, that his lawyer, without it, again, without any corroboration, he's talking about... Here's the other thing, before I get into that. This is the other mysterious thing. He's sitting there in, in this committee talking to Congress. He's like, yeah, I got like hundreds of tapes and audio clips and stuff of clients. It's like a little bit shifty. It's like, why are you recording everyone's conversations? Could it be you're an opportunist? You're looking to like blackmail somebody or maybe write a bunch of books if any of them get implicated in major crime. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. You, you want to put it on YouTube and have a viral clip maybe or you know, get a bunch of ad revenue. That's basically the best thing you could do at this point. Uh, he's sitting on this material for malevolent purposes, but somehow, magically, he doesn't have tapes to corroborate any of the things he's saying about Trump. So he's got all these other tapes of other clients, like, oh yeah, I've got like these dozens of clients, and they're all crooked and say crazy shit, but I don't have any evidence of Trump saying the N-word. I don't have tr evidence of Trump saying, oh yeah, you know, I love to fuck lots of models, you know, Melania doesn't know. He doesn't have corroboration of any of the claims that he's made, but he has corroboration for all sorts of weird shit about other people. Why is it that Trump is the one person he never thought to record except under one occasion very late on in their relationship in, in, in reference to a Stormy Daniels payment that comes again, and this is another reason his testimony didn't fucking matter, before Trump's campaign was official and was paid for after the fact, which is perfectly legal. There's a reason when people say, well, you see, haha, -ha, he violated campaign finance laws. That's funny. The Democrats aren't pursuing it. The reason they're not pursuing it is because they're smarter than you and realize it's not a campaign finance violation. Trump using his own money for a pr to pay off a prior or a, a, a amount that he owed from before the campaign began is not a violation of our laws. It doesn't violate any law under the sun. You can think it's dubious to say, well, he, you know, he's fucking someone on the side. Okay, do you honestly believe with his checkered reputation with women, let's put it that way, with all the connections he had, WrestleMania pageantry with like, you know, 18, 19 year old fucking girls and shit wandering around in their changing rooms, and then the Stern universe and, and the fact that he'd already been married twice. Do you think Melania thought, oh yeah, this he's a really sweet guy, he keeps in his pants, he's gonna be really loyal. No, bullshit. Bullshit. She's like, well, he is a powerful man, he likes me, you know, this is a great arrangement. I can, you know, I'll have all the money and I can buy the expensive clothes and the biggest stuff. And she did modeling too, you know, you've actually, some of you have seen the first lady totally nude. You know, by the way, well put together and everything. Uh, it's it's a business marriage. It's sort of like the Clintons. You think that they even sleep together? I, th I think that they did. In Trump and Melania's case, they seem to be loving enough. But I mean, it's sort of like JFK now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure he loved Jackie, but, you know, he also slept around. He had his own bedroom for a reason. He's like, ah, she sleeps in the side room. I sleep in here with Marilyn Monroe and with Marilyn Monroe's relatives and her friends and all of my f female friends from high school that want to say, oh, hi, Jack. He probably fucked a thousand women in the White House. So Trump is uh, tame compared to JFK and all these liberals, they never had a problem with that. They don't have a problem discussing that.
Oh, all American couple, Jack and J- you know fucking Jack Kennedy. What a wonderful man! It was fucking uh, the picture on half of these liberal pages is either JFK or or FDR, who was boinging his secretary, married his third cousin, and uh, did all sorts of weird shit, and was a bitter, bigoted racist. But you know, those are the those are their idols. There's nothing odd here. No. Notice they never uh, applaud Jimmy Carter, the one among them that was actually like loyal to his. Like at this point, can't even get it up probably without you know injecting peanut oil into his dick. Uh, and no, Trump is telling Congress, "Hey, look at his manuscript. I bet it's different. I bet it's not the same as what he told you." That means either the book is bullshit, in which case he's trying to basically hatchet job Cohen before he releases his book, which would be epically funny, or he, or he's lying to you, which you know he he is obviously. I don't believe for a second that Trump is actually racist. He probably uses, like, you know, you know, insensitive language all the time. That doesn't mean that he has any systemic problem with anyone. Uh, you know, 99% of the population has done that. You do realize that, correct? Especially back in the 90s. It was uh, common to make, like, homophobic slurs back then in just a general setting. It was common. By the way, that's definitely going to become an issue for millennial politicians over the next 10, 20 years as they start to enter politics. Oh, well, you posted this on Facebook 30 years ago. You, you said the, uh, you know, the, you called somebody gay in a malevolent sense as opposed to meaning homosexual used as a slur. You should resign. Eh, that's going to happen, especially since Zuckerberg is helpfully archiving all of your posts. So, you know, enjoy. You might want to think twice before you run for office, uh, you know, if you've ever used social media of any variant. Because guaranteed they've sold that info to other companies and stuff. It's it's gotten onto servers uh, for political activist groups by now. Of course it has. It's been archived, and it'll look organic. They'll cover their tracks really well. Guaranteed that this will actually happen. Oh, yeah. Someone hacked his account 20 years ago and just was sitting on it this whole time. Wow, and then we just suddenly got a hold of this info. So an anonymous poster gave this archive to us. Yeah, but the thing is, of course, they've screwed with the metadata. It's actually that they bought it more recently, but, you know, you'll never know because, of course, it'll be going through an intel agency or something like that. Uh, Trump has definitely uh, bamboozled them on this one. Because the thing is, the Democrats now, they'll have to say, well, no, we don't want the manuscript because they don't want to be proven wrong. So they don't want to read the manuscript. They don't have enough time to do it anyway. It's just like when uh, Cohen was supposed to, uh, what was it, submit some of his statements like 24 hours or something beforehand, uh, or 48 hours, and then they didn't do that, and then they refused to to uh, postpone the Cohen testimony and stupid shit like that. It's a procedural attack by the Democrats mostly. Uh, just like you know Elijah Cummings, it's like he's he's a well, it's not pertinent what Cohen says in his books, even though it is, because it'll show quite clearly that he's a fucking total liar. Uh, it, probably in his book will be like, yeah, Trump's an okay dude, so blah, 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 blah. And here's, I've got proof of him being racist, but, you know, I worked for him anyway for years. Uh, no, uh, I, I don't think that he's got proof of anything. Again, where are the tapes? It's just like when all of these people like, um, what's his name, fucking Tom Arnold's like, yes, I've heard the N-word tape. Okay, well, then where is it? Oh, well, I'm being threatened, so I'm not going to release it. Bullshit, dude. That's a total fucking cop-out. You don't have a tape. There's no Trump N-word tape. There's no Trump uh, peeing on Russian hookers tape. There's no Trump anything tape. The Billy Bush tape is the end-all, be-all of what you've got on Trump because by now you would have released the rest of it if you had anything. Absolutely. I, I say with 100% certainty there's no Trump N-word tape. They would have released it by now. Apparently all these people have heard it and, and, and know of it. and everything. But nobody's got a copy except for Tom Arnold, who's too big a fucking coward to release it. No, it's not that he's a coward to release it. He hasn't been threatened by anyone. He doesn't have a tape. He's full of shit, and he wanted to get back in the limelight. That's what happens over and over with these people. Cohen, it's the same fucking shit. He's like, well, I've got a short sentence in a federal prison. You know, it's not exactly a high-security facility. It will be basically a prison with a golf course at that point. So he's got a short stay for lying to Congress. Again, it's not a, a particularly massive charge. He gets out. He sells his book rights for millions of dollars. He sits pretty the rest of his life. That's what he wants. It was very funny how his, uh, his offices got raided as well. It was very, very funny. That's about all. Peace out.